Okay. Now this one's going to be about a card size, or pretty close to it. I've, yeah, it was cut out by, I cut it out with scissors. So I just took it out of a large picture that had writing on it. And I didn't want the writing, so I just took a section out of the picture and used a business card as a template to cut along. So it's the size of a business card, even if the edges are a little bit rough because I used scissors. But yeah, this will look interesting, I'm hoping. <laughs> So that's how big it'll probably be, and then we're just gonna select copied paper. Ooh. Actually, we don't want to make it too dark, we'll just leave it on standard. Make it light. We're not gonna change this into a negative, we're gonna make it different. It's really colourful as it is, so it's worth so what are we going to do? Contrast. A little bit of extra contrast. Saturation. It's a very saturated image already, so we don't need to add saturation. So this is going to be quite different from most of the demos I've got. So I'm not using copy density and leaving it at standard. And the colour balance. Maybe we'll do a little bit of simple or slight amount of color balance black will stay in the center let's hope this one comes a treat so anyway this piece was cut out of a picture that had writing on it that i got in the mail so it looks like a picture of the great barrier reef but i've only i was only able to use this section because i didn't want to have the writing on it so <laughs> unfortunately the big fish has been cut in half which is a pity but what else could i do I did love the colour and there's another fish in there, but some things, sometimes you've got to make sacrifices. But I figured it was a good, nice picture to experiment with. So hopefully this demo will come up a treat. Alright. Just see how good it is. Let's hope it's any good. Okay, well, it's, it looks yucky. It's just too much black. It looks dry. The image looks dry and it looks yuck. Yuck. We do a better job of that, I'm sure. We've got to work on it. So let's see why, why our image turned up looking like shit. So let's see, what can we do to fix it? Colour balance black we take out the black we make it into a three color image and I wonder what else we can do to improve on it copy density okay darken it or do we have to add some hue so maybe we cool it down a tad and hopefully that'll improve on the quality of this image. But for some reason the black was showing up too much. Maybe this is a three color image, I'm not sure. Or it looks almost, but it's hard to copy a copy. It's not a photocopy, copy, it's a printout. But it's still much the same, pretty much, in this case at least. But anyway... This one looks a bit strange now. We don't have any black. It's, in a way I like it, but no, nah, it's not as colorful as the original. I'm just wondering what we're gonna do with this. How are we gonna make it a better image? If we can, if we can actually make it better or whether we have to give up on it. Just, I don't know, this one's a really tough one to do. So I'm just wondering what's gotta be done. So. Maybe we have to take back the black. Maybe a little bit of black. Maybe throw in some more magenta. Yellow. 
we leave yellow. Cyan, we add a bit more. I don't know if we can make this really good, if, if at all. Maybe the contrast is too high. Or maybe we need more contrast. Just a little bit of more contrast. <sighs> what else can we do to this thing? This is maybe it's, this is too cold. Maybe we should actually warm it up, not cool it down. Maybe that hue adjust might have been the culprit to making this image look shit. It's hard to tell. <laughs> so many features and functions. Even the person like me, who's had so much experience with these features, still can't always get it right. <laughs> Goes to show that photocopier design is is beyond reality. It's not what normal people would want to use or can use and why these machines are so heavily kitted but this actually I could see some improvement now it looks a lot better but it still could be better but at least we can see more magenta and more and the cyan well it looks still looks like the black is I don't know <laughs> I think I have to do some routine maintenance on it like clean out the apertures for the laser the laser ap apertures I don't know the technical term for it but I'm just wondering what we should do next. Whether we go to hue and we just zero the hue, go here, maybe add a little more cyan, maybe the black, we'll put the black at zero. So I'm wondering if this is going to be the best result we can get. Let's see if we can get it out again. This is going to be a prolongated demo. This will take a long time to upload to, to Facebook or, or even more longer to upload to YouTube. But we'll see how it goes anyway. It's nice to have a prolongated demo every now and then. Let's see how this one looks. Let's, see, let's hope we can, go, we can go out of this demo with a, with a bang in a positive sense. But anyway... This is interesting, it's by no means anything like the original colour. This colour shit is difficult to reproduce, so I'll just get a bit closer to it, but it's still, it's quite nice. I guess we could call that one a wrap. Yeah, I guess we could. We could. Not ideal, but I think we'll just call it a wrap.